How's it going? Travis and Susie. Travis, Susie, Travis. We're here, okay? Got a reaction video for you. We've got some links below. What are you doing? You're trying to high five me? You're trying to like, what, are you uh, yeah, what is was, happening? I was going to hold your hand. That's what you're going to do? This one like this. I thought you were going to Wolverine me or this, something. <laughs> this one like uh, oh. this, one like this oh. Travis. That's what, that's what was happening? Yeah. Oh. I was not going to Wolverine you. I don't even have Wolverine claws. And what doesn't Wolverine go like this? Yeah, but like I didn't hear like. Like Wolverine doesn't go like. like ah. He goes like. like Catwoman or something? Right? And they come out. Is that right? That is right. I am right. They do come out here. How many does he have? Two three. or three or four? Three on each side. Three on each side? Three on each side. Wow. Do you remember that thing he used to have? Yeah. Travis used to have this like crazy hand knife. Yeah. It was like wildly Let sharp. Let me just confirm this real quick. Let's see here. Yes, it is in what? fact called a Pantera knife. Yo, that thing was so sharp so, that this one time I was cleaning it and like I cut my finger on it because I literally like just whatever even across happened to it. it. I don't know. It fell in our house. Uh, it was in our house collapse. Uh, so that's cool. I wonder if Pantera, the band, got their name from that knife. But it is a thing you hold like brass knuckles, but it's got three Wolverine gigantic Yo. blades on the end of and it. And they're so sharp. At least the one Travis had. So sharp. Oh my yeah. gosh. Like. It was cool. It's terrifying. And cool. All right. Anyways. Anyway. Today, a video is being brought to you guys by Jeremy, Jeremy G. G. Who now knows a little of our background on knives and houses. So. Knives and Houses. Knives and Houses. Should be a, a TV show. Knives and Houses. Should it? I don't know. Anyway. Anyways. <laughs> Jeremy G is bringing us John Farnham and Jimmy Barnes' uh, When Something Is Wrong With My Baby. This time, oh, Jeremy G says, This time I'm bringing you guys soul. You've seen Jimmy Barnes before as the lead singer of Cold Chisel, and you've reacted to John's cover of the Cold Chisel song, When the War is Over. Now hear two of the best and most unique Australian voices together. The guitarist is Diesel, uh, another brilliant Aussie singer and musician in his own right, and also Jimmy's brother-in-law. I picked this version because the ending is just smooth as silk. See you again soon, guys. Wow, that's awesome. We have been getting to see some Australian big legendary singers sing together. Mm. So I'm excited for this one. Y'all. Yeah, we, we just did a John Farnham and Olivia, Olivia Newton-John. John. We did a couple. Couple. One was quite shocking. Ah, There's a little ah. smoochy woochie at the end. Smoocher woochers. Didn't see that coming. I, I sort of didn't, sort of didn't. Like you kind of, kind of you wondered, were wondering, and, and then, then you're like, kaboom. "Oh my gosh!" Kabooey, yeah. <laughs> kabooey! Hit the like button and subscribe. Let's do it. But something is wrong with my baby. Yes. You know that something is wrong with me. And if I know, yeah, I love it. She's a worry. Oh, I would feel that same old misery. What? 
What am I watching right now? Holy smokes. When they both, uh, they both separately have incredible voices, incredible passion. Together, it is like magic. What is happening right now? I can't even. That was crazy. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yo, I'm wondering if when moments like this happen, right? We have these two great, remarkable singers singing together. If it's just like level up, like they just level up. It's like it's not just another night of singing, another concert, you know, where they're great. But now they're like greater because now they're like that whole like idea of like iron sharpening iron. Like the idea of like they just... Um, I think... I think I know what you're talking about. I think that it's not Excite necessarily leveling other. up, but more like um, if an NBA player plays with like any other, any nor like any non NBA player basketball, okay. they still have fun. But when they play with another NBA player, yes. they have like probably a different level of fun yes. because of the because of the camaraderie that comes with. Um, both being an NBA player or somebody that's on that level right. of ca of the capability of yeah of, of that's that's kind of basically what I'm saying yeah yeah like, obviously it's not that they're they not don't competing have fun. yeah and they're but not they're just like oh check this out oh, oh you know what I mean and right. it's kind of like that like oh okay let's get it you yeah. Know what I mean? yeah 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 I think so. When something is wrong. Come on. That's a triple threat right there. That is so freaking awesome. Oh my gosh, even... <laughs> these guys are crushing it. <laughs> Something is wrong. 
But something is wrong with me. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Holy and all smoke. the ladies swoon. Oh my gosh. Dang. That, that is, and did you see the hair on Diesel there? Oh my God! Woo! With the little, uh, little piece sticking up forward, like, hey guys, <laughs> like Joey from Friends. Yeah, that's oh, nice. Oh my gosh, I'd love to hear more from John and Jimmy. Thank you so much for that, guys. Thank that you for awesome. hanging out. Don't forget, you can make a uh, request with that link right there. Stay tuned. Stay positive. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. I just wanna break my dream.